This is a GUI application built with the Python module Kiwi. It is currently running perfectly on a mobile device and the amazing thing is I built this application entirely using my smartphone. Yes, you can build Python applications or write and run simple Python scripts on your phone. No laptop, desktop or Chromebook required. Python is cross-platform so there are apps out there that will allow you to write and interpret Python code on your smartphone. In this video, I'll be showing you the best Python code editors on Android. Stick around because I'm going to show you exactly how I built this application towards the end of the video. Before we begin, hit the like button, subscribe and say hi in the comments down below. The first step I recommend is coding Python. This app is free, offline and available in the Google Play Store. It includes a built-in code editor and interpreter, so you don't have to install anything else. The limited customization options, user-friendly UI and the minimalistic design of this application makes it the best IDE for people who just want a simple but effective way to edit and test Python code on their phone. There is syntax highlighting, error checking, an extended keyboard, and auto code completion but no auto in that. This app is a good Python editor on Android, but if you want something with more features and more customization options, I have three more apps for you. The second app I recommend is QPython L3. QPython L3 has more features than coding Python. You get two package managers, a Python console, an online community tab, courses, example projects, and a code editor with syntax highlighting, extended keyboard, and some unique themes. Check out this matrix theme, makes me feel like re-watching the movies. You can write simple Python scripts or build more advanced Python applications with any module. You can use the terminal to do everything, but if you are not comfortable with that, you can use the GUI. This application is great on all, but the next two apps are what I use for Python programming on Android. PyDroid is probably the most popular Python code editor on Android. It comes with multiple modules for building GUI applications pre-installed. Kiwi, PyQt5, Tikinta, and Pygame being the most notable. The code editor is decent but feels slow compared to the other apps. Installing modules feels easier because there is now a PIP GUI in the application. The interpreter and terminal are what I like most about this app. All the apps in this video are free, offline and available on the Google Play Store. Links in the description. And at number 1, we've got the best Python editor on Android as of the recording of this video. Now, Termax is not just a Python code editor, but a Linux terminal emulator for Android. You can use it for ethical hacking, installing Linux distros on your phone, to use your phone as a server, coding and scripting, and everything else you can do with a Linux terminal. I use it to build Python applications with Vim. Here's how you can do the same. First, install Termax from the Google Play Store or from F-Droid. The vision on the Google Play Store is much older and isn't updated anymore. So I recommend getting it from F-Droid. After installing Termax, you will have to update your packages and install Python, Vim and a graphical user interface module of your choice. From there, all you must do is write the code and run on your Android device. If you want a Termax, Linux or Python full course, say so in the comments down below. Thanks for watching, I'll see you in the next one.